Hi guys, a quick giveaway to tell you about. If you want to win these Michael Smith shot dash, just make sure you subscribe, comment below, and I know all the videos we'll be doing this week, and we'll pick a lucky winner from the comment section next week. Good luck. Luke, many congratulations. Seismic shot here. You've just beaten one of the most informed men in Planet Darts. Just sum that one up for us. Yeah, Ch Chiz, is, he's, he's been a top player for years and years, but like you say, I think over the last sort of two and a half months, there's probably not a better player on on the tour than Chizzy, but I've been playing a lot myself, so I was quite, not, not super confident, but I knew I had the game, if I could if I could get in sort of first or second out every leg and really, really push him, I, I knew I had the game to, to sort of to beat him, so I was, I was like I say, more than confident I could put up a fight or push him and I've come away with the win, so I'm more than happy. What was that last Euro Tour like? Because you went in there, the underdog, the outsider, yeah. to, to qualify, and round by round you were ticking them off. What, what was that like? Um, I think I, I went to the Euro Tour, and uh, I, I, to be honest, I didn't, the Grand Prix didn't enter my mind because I just thought that Ricardo would, would, would have the last sort of spot. He was in pole position. And um, as the games went on, and I knew I was, I was closer and closer, yeah, you start thinking about it a little bit, but... Um, until someone comes up to you and goes, you are definitely in. It wasn't. It wasn't concrete. So um, I think I was more nervous watching um, uh, Damon play Jan Van Veen than I was in my own game. So, but yeah, I mean, it's worked out alright, hasn't it? So it's good. One of the best weekends of your life. That was it. Yeah, it's close. Darts weekend. Yeah, definitely close. Definitely close. Um, it's right up there. But like I say, at the moment, I'm playing some really, really nice stuff and. I feel probably as good as I felt throwing a dart at the moment, sort of mentally, physically, um, all that sort of jargon that you want to put into to throw in to throw in some good darts, and I'm in a good space at the moment. So yeah, who knows what can happen? We saw you put some tremendous performances in at Alexandra Palace, but then struggled to repeat that. Now we're seeing that form again. Mm. Is it a case of learning it from it? So that this isn't a flash like Ali Pali was, so you can then build on this and climb those rankings. Yeah, I think I think I've I've said in, in in past things that I think this year I've, um, I've I've definitely felt part of the tour and I've definitely felt like I belong playing on the tour and I'm not I don't get so like um, what's the word so um, sort of phased by playing the big players anymore. I'm, I feel like I'm part of the tour and I've probably learned more this year than I've learned in three or four years. So this could be I mean it could be the, a massive start to my career sort of thing and for me to be able to push on. Having beaten Chizzy, is there anyone else that you fear in this tournament? Or having beaten him, is now the world your oyster? I mean, I don't, I don't really fear any sort of darts, but I think everyone's got three darts in their hand. And the, do you know what I mean? There's so many players in form at the moment. So, the thing is, that every player in this Grand Prix, in this Grand Prix field, is more than capable of probably going on to win the tournament. Really, so every, so I mean, every player is going to be the same sort of task as I've just played Chizzy. I'm just going to go up there, throw darts, get in, hopefully get in the first three darts and then and then go from there. Luke, many congratulations. Cheers, thank you, Phil. Luke, qualifying for this was obviously a big occasion for yourself. Yeah. How much pressure was actually on the match itself for you? Pro for me, probably no pressure at all because, like you say, I've, I've, I've got in sort of last mm. sort of gasp sort of thing and um, I'm playing one of the informed players and I'm going to assume that he was a massive favourite to win that game, and I think I've, I've heard a few people tip Chizzy to, to to go all the way, sort of thing. So, for me, there was no pressure, but I know what I can do, and I know, I know how I'm playing at the moment, and um, I'm sure Chizzy was very aware of it. But I just thought, like, like I said before, if I could go out there, get in first handful, and put the pressure on Chizzy, then anything can happen in, in a double in double out, especially the first of two sets. It's, it's so short, so. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get on top of Emily Dawes. What is the expectation here for you this week? Because once you get that first round out of the way, it's really shackles off for you, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I want to go as far as I can. Um, the way I'm feeling, I mean, it, it, I'm not sure it's a big ass to say you can go win it, but I think I can go a long way. Now. There's no reason why not. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty high up. I think I'm pretty high up on the sort of double percentages and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think I've got the win of Lou Crumford and Daryl Gurney next. I'd say Dowagun is the last. He's a, a, a Grand Prix winner previously, and Luke Humphries is again. He's probably playing the darts of his life at the moment, so it's going to be a tough ask uh, next game. But I've just proven I can I can mix it with sort of your Dave Chisels and whatever. Then why, why can't I go and be, win the next game? Do you think people will be standing up and take taking notice of that performance in the practice room? 
possibly I don't know. I think everyone's they're 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 all they're all more than aware of what they can do themselves and who's good and nobody nobody looks around the practice room anymore and thinks oh well uh, if I can get through and play him then I've got an easy game anymore. Everyone is more than capable of winning this tournament. Um, yeah, I don't think nobody really. Do you know what I mean? Everyone can take notice of a, a, of some sort of game, but then you've only got to look at what Gary done the other day. And do you know what I mean? He, he's averaging near the hundred mark and a double in, double out. So, yeah, I don't think it. it they don't pay much attention. No, but Luke, you mentioned on the sky you've changed a few bits behind the scenes. Can yeah. you shed any light on, on what those are? Yeah, nothing really. I just I'm, I'm I'm just trying not to put so much pressure on myself. I'm trying to go away to weekends and and enjoy the weekends for what they were. I'm in, I'm in a very fortunate position to be. Um, to be good at something I really enjoy doing, and then just to embrace, embrace going to these going to these tournaments and being one of the lucky 128 in the world that can go and play these sort of tournaments and go and attempt to achieve what some people from the outside world looking and, and they can only dream or sort of thing. I made a few things and like little things with I, I, I've up my exercise a little bit and I try and eat a little bit better and stuff. But really, it's more of a mental thing of going to these tournaments, enjoying them, embracing them for what they are, and then just trying to get the most out of them, really. How much of a platform could, could this week be in your career? And have you set yourself any targets between now and the end of the season? I've set, I, I, I'm not a target setter at all, so I've set myself no targets. But if I can go and have a big weekend here, I mean, or week here, sorry, um, it could be a kickstart to my whole career, really. You go and have a big week here and then get yourself... I think, I'm not sure what it'll be after the world sort of thing, but I'm, I'm edging on the top sort of 32, so... If I can have a big weekend here and it pushes me in the top 32, then it's a, it's a massive kickstart. No worries. Luke, great performance. You've knocked out one of the favourites with the 96 average. Mm. When you do get in through the back door like that, is it almost like a bit of a free roll when you enter a tournament like this? Yes and no. I mean, yeah, you can say it's through the back door, but I've, I've still put in the work earlier in the season to be able to put myself in the position to get myself through, get myself in. So, I mean... Yeah, maybe a bit of a thrill, but I, I don't, I've still come to this tournament thinking I can do some real damage. So I'm not coming here thinking, oh, if I lose first round, then I'll um, I'll just take it on the air because I've just got in. I want to come in and do some real damage. So uh, do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to get as far as I can. If you look at the people who you've beaten, you've beaten Rob Cross in mm. Budapest. Yeah. You also beat Peter Wright, beating Dave Chisnell now. Yeah. Do the just the quality of player that that you come up against that you can beat does that have an effect on your confidence as well? Not just the stages that you get into, but the people that you're beating. Yeah, I mean, it used to a few years ago. It really, used to, if I if I'd go and beat a, say a top eight player, it'd really I'd be like. But I, I don't really see players sort of now. Now I feel part of the tour sort of thing. I don't really look at any player and think I can't beat them. I feel like right, it's just another game. Go and play as well as you can. If you play really well then you've got a chance to beat them. Whereas before, I'd look at sort of playing a Van Goon or a Rob Cross or Peter Wright and be like, if I win this, this is a massive win. Now I'm just sort of settling onto the tour more and thinking if I can, it's just another game of darts. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm just taking every game as it comes at the moment. Like I say, today beating Chiz is uh, unbelievable. And this year is your debut in the World Grand Prix. Are there any concerns when you enter a tournament with a completely different format that you're not used to that you might st struggle to adapt? Uh, I'll be honest. I, I haven't because it was so close. Obviously qualifying, I haven't really had a chance to overly think about sort of the practice side of things. I know a few people have said that um, they'll go and practice their favourite double or practice sort of double in, double out. But uh, back home, the leagues I've played previously, they've all been double in, double out anyway. So um, it's not something I've overly thought about. So yeah, just sort of come and take it. Maybe I've, I've worked a little bit on getting in and like sort of practicing my doubles, but not not anything to sort of overly shout about now. Cheers, Luke. Thank you. Thank you, no worries.